Hey what's up guys, it's Nick with Indiegoogle, and in this tutorial I'm going to be covering the uh, basics of the GameMaker's particle system. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can uh, kind of make the particles do what you want, but I'm just going to be covering a few right now, and I'll get more in-depth in a later tutorial. First thing you want to do is create an object and name it anything and in the create event top in this okay so what we have here is a global variable called system and it's equal to part system create basically this is going to create the particle system then we have another global variable called particle and it's equal to part top create this is going to create the actual particles okay now we can get to actually defining it okay this is going to define the shape of the particle and as you can see this first parameter is particle so it's going to be this variable here and then we have pt underscore shape underscore pixel they have a few more things like uh, I believe disks and maybe stars things like that you can check this out in the manual if you really want to know more before I release the next tutorial okay and this is going to be how long the particles live so the minimum it can live is 5,000 maximum being 10,000 you can mess around with this find whatever you like it can be anything really and this is going to be the color of the particle okay and this is the speed now we have a bunch of parameters as you can see down here we have uh, IND speed min speed max in uh, speed increase and speed wiggle so this first uh, speed parameter here will be the minimum speed this will be the maximum speed and if you were to put this at something above zero then it's gonna start at the minimum speed and work its way up to the maximum speed or if you put minus then it'll basically do the right opposite and wiggle it'll kind of uh, fluctuate between the two speed parameters you have set here so if I was to put this at like uh, one or something like that then it would start at one of these and kind of move to the other one then back you know just keep fluctuating between those two okay so this is the direction of the particles we have a minimum direction and maximum direction and right here is the direction increase it works the same way as the speed increase and we have direction wiggle that's gonna work the exact same way as the speed wiggle and as you can see we have the wiggle set to 5 and you'll see exactly why in just a moment now we need to set up an alarm okay so I'm not sure if I've covered like random things before 
but this random range is going to pick a number between 0 and 100 and then that's going to be what the alarm 0 is equal to. We can just copy and paste that. Go into the alarm and paste. Okay. Okay, and this repeat, it's going to uh, repeat however many times you have specified, which in this case is going to be 1 and 20, or a random number between 1 and 20. Anyways, it's going to repeat whatever is under it that number of times. So in this case, Okay, so this is what it's going to be repeating, this line of code right here. And we have a few parameters for this one also. First, we need to specify which system it's using, which uh, is actually going to be global. And then we need to tell it where to place these particles at. So it's going to choose a random uh, position in the room's width, so it can be at the far left, far right or anywhere in between and the y position will be zero so it'll be at the very top and particle that is what particle it's going to be creating and this one will be how many it creates it's only going to create one but we're repeating this line of code right here to a random number so even though we have one right here it's going to keep repeating it every time that this alarm is called okay now I need to go back here. I haven't got global in any of these, so I'm just gonna add it real quick. Remember if you make your system and particle a global variable, you don't have to, but I usually do. But remember if you make it global, then always put global when you're defining it also. Okay, now let's add this to our room. and we will test it. Okay, we have a problem here. Let's go back to the alarm and I put particle instead of global. And that's what I mean, you want to remember that or else it's not going to work. and there we have it that is a very simple uh, particle system that we have here it's just simulating some snow falling from the top of the screen if you look close you can tell that some of the particles are kind of uh, swaying a little bit and remember in all of these you really really want to experiment with it and you can get some really bizarre effects if you put enough time into figuring out what kind of changes do what and things like that and even with a small amount of uh, commands that I've shown you in this tutorial you can create some pretty cool things but I will be explaining everything about the particle system more in depth in a later tutorial I just wanted to get this out here to kind of uh, tell you about it and create some uh, a snow system for Christmas but that pretty much does it for this tutorial I'll see you next time and Merry Christmas